Since the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic across the world, many groups and individuals, especially the traditional medicine practitioners, claimed to have discovered a cure for the disease. At this phytomedicine conference in Yobe State, the National Institute for Pharmaceutical Research and Development reveals that three out of 40 claims submitted have undergone clinical trials and look in promising. In the fight against COVID specifically, we had about 40 submissions of claim by traditional medicine practitioners uh, across the country. Such claims were forwarded to NIPRID for validation and standardization. And I can uh, confidently say that we have seen promises in about three that have been so presented. Things are being pushed further in Yobe State with the establishment of a Department of Traditional Medicine Practitioners in the Ministry of Health for easy coordination. We are complementary. We are not in, in, in any competition with them. And that is why we are trying to see how we can collaborate all the time in order for us to have a very vibrant and healthy uh, population in the state. For these experts, the traditional medicine practitioners need to feel free with the system and showcase their talents for validation and standardization. There's no any fear today. Uh, a practitioner can take his product and the product can be developed. Even if he don't have chain kobo, there are a lot of people that are interested to invest in production of herbal medicine the moment it is certified and the efficacy is ascertained. A lot of people that have medicines that are effective has not been harnessed and we know that as pharmacists most of the drugs that we use come from traditional medicine. It is expected that this collaboration to harness the potentials of traditional medicine by the federal government with the traditional medicine practitioners would improve the health and well-being of Nigerians.